Hello, it's time for Teaching Tuesday again. This week, we're going to be making umbrellas, paper umbrellas. You can hang them up or you can just hold on to them. I've made a number of different ones to try different patterns. This one's got a white, a white pipe cleaner for stem. This is one of my favorites. This one is made out of magazine pages. Isn't that cool? I really like that. It's going to be raining this week a little bit, so I thought it might be fine, kind of fun to make some umbrellas. Are you ready to get started? All right, let's get our supplies. The first thing you'll need is some paper. Uh, you can use construction paper, I, magazine pages, newspaper. Um, this is uh, printer paper. This printer paper is some colored printer paper, and I have three sheets of printer paper. You're going, to need, you're going to need several sheets of this one. You're going to need a pencil and your scissors to practice cutting, and we're going to practice cutting circles today. I have a glue stick, a pipe cleaner, and some string. String is optional, but you need something to make a pattern with. I have a drinking cup. That's all. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to use the top part as my pattern for a circle. Are you ready to get started? All right, come on down. Let's take a look at the paper. Here we go. Turn the cup upside down and we're going to need 12. Nope, I'm sorry. We're gonna start with 10. If you want to do 12, you can do 12 as many as many as you'd like, um, but I'm, I find that, that 10 works pretty well. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to draw a circle around the rim of the cup. See that? I think I can fit four on this page. There we go. Hold your hand on top of the cup so it doesn't go anywhere. And when I'm tracing, my hand is coming around one side of the cup one way. See that over here? But it's hard to reach around the whole way. So I'm going to bring my pencil to the other side of the cup and finish up that way. Let's see. Yep, we have four circles. Now, if we have four circles here, one, two, three, four, and we need 10, how many more circles do we need? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's six more circles. Now, once you get your circles done, we're going to cut them out. So I'm going to start and show you the easiest way that I found to cut these out. I'm going to cut the circles apart in chunks because I think it's easier than cutting them out of one piece of paper. So, little guys, this is good practice for you. We've practiced on this before. Okay, I'm going to hold the paper with my, my left hand and I'm going to cut with my right hand. If you're left-handed, just switch that around, whichever works best. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to keep the point of my scissors pointing away from me. Sometimes we cut and we try and cut back this way. It's very awkward. So remember, we're going to turn the paper we're not going to turn our scissors. Now your scissors will move a little bit, but the thing that's really moving is the paper. See, I'm moving the paper around here. I've got my thumb on one side, my fingers are on the other side, and I'm just moving the paper as the scissors are cutting. This takes some practice. This is not necessarily an easy thing to do, but it's great scissors practice. There we go, and I'm get rid of the trash, and I have the first one of my circles. Now, if you have your parents helping you, or you're a bigger person, you can definitely cut more than one circle at a one time at a time. Just stack up your paper. You can even bend it over like this, so that you've got lots of different ones that you can cut. Depends on how thick your paper is, but you're going to need to cut ten of these, ten circles. If you have more than that, 
great, but you're going to need at least 10. So I'm going to let you trace 10 circles and cut them out, and then we'll come back and I'll teach you how to put everything together. Hi, I'm back. Do you have your circles cut out? I have mine. I have 10 of them. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is some folding. So I'm going to take the camera down here so you can see what I'm doing. You need one, one of your pieces of paper here, one of your circles. <clears throat> going to fold it in half one way and then in half the other way. Kind of like you're cutting a pie. You're cutting it into quarters except you're not going to cut. You're just going to fold. You fold in half and then in half again. You're going to do this with all of your pieces of paper all of your pieces of paper. Now, some of the ones that I've done for my umbrellas, I have one, see this one? It's white, they were white on one side and colored on the other. You would just make sure that all of your circles either have the white on the inside or the color on the inside. So they're all, all lined up the same. Now, when I'm folding these, I'm making sure that it's got a nice and tight crease on it. So, little guys, make sure you're squishing that down. We've talked about sometimes using the back of a fingernail. You can flip your fingernail over like this and push against that crease to make it nice and tight. You could pinch it like, like this, but you want to make that crease as tight as you can get it. Got a couple more to do here. Two more. There we go. And the last one. The last one. So now I have 10 folded circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 folded circles. I want you to pick up one and, and look at how this is set up for a minute. You've got one heavy fold here. So you can stand up and there's a heavy fold. If you pinch that side right there, you have the side that's curved. There are four pieces there if you look straight, four edges. See that? And then you have this other fold that looks like two little legs. Doo, 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 doo. You need to pay special attention to where those pieces are. I'm going to line mine up so they're all going the same direction. The big fold is down and then the two, two little legs are sticking up. You see that? There's the big fold and the two, the two sides. Big fold, big fold, big fold, big fold and the big fold. So they're all going the same direction. For the next part of the project, you'll need a newspaper because we cover up our work areas, right? Cover up the work area and you need a glue stick. Mess up a little bit here. Glue stick. I have a purple glue stick. Hopefully it'll be you'll be able to see where I'm putting the glue as I go through here. Are you ready to get started? Okay, pick up one piece. The two legs are pointing one direction and the big fold is right here. Now when I put glue on this, and I'll show you with a pencil too, I'm going to put glue along this side and I'm going to kind of make a little triangle with my glue stick. You see how that's going to go? It goes along the side with a big fold on it and it goes toward the curved side. So I'm going to push the sides down here. I'm going to go this way and then so I can make the triangle. Do you see that? It's like a triangle. I'm going to take the next piece. I'm going to put it the same direction and I'm going to stick it right on top of that.
do that. Now they're stuck together. There is one step that I haven't showed you yet. And sometimes I think I forget things as I go along. That same shape to the inside of your umbrella, this is the shape that we were putting glue in. See that? I'm going to open up one of them. This may be easier to glue all of them at the same time. There's your triangle. Pinch it together. Triangle. And pinch it together. I think before I glue these together, I'm going to open all of these up and glue the inside. Make sure we're going the right direction. So here's the big fold. You open up your circle. Put one line down the middle and make a triangle. You see that? See it with the purple glue? And now pinch that shut. I'm going to do the same thing with all of them. Here's the big side, the two legs. When I open it up, I'm going to make a line down the middle and come out in a triangle. Here's the triangle. Squish it shut again. I'm going to do this with all of them. Line down the middle. Whoops, am I going the wrong direction? Line down the middle. My triangle comes up towards the curved side. Squish it shut. The two legs are the same direction. Line down the middle. Triangle toward the, the curved part. Squish it shut. Center. Triangle. Squish it shut. All the these I've set up so that the legs are going the same way. Go down the center, make a triangle towards the curved part. Squish it shut. Got a little bit of glue on the newspaper there. And that's okay because I'm keeping it off of my tablecloth. Triangle, squish, and the last one down the center. Come make your triangle towards the curved side and squish it shut. All of these, I can pick them up, just squish them all together. And if you have time, let them dry because the next part will be easier if they're dry. I'm going to keep going so that, that uh, you can see the whole thing. Okay, so you, I've got my whole stack of them. They're all lined up there, squishing them down. Got it? All right. Now I'm going to go back to the, the two circles that I glued together. I should have done I should have done this step first, and I forgot. So see how they're kind of they're glued together in there? We're going to keep making a pile with the circle. One circle hooked together. It's in a pie shape. And we're going to draw. Here's the big fold down there. And we're going to come back in a triangle shape again. Oh, and I just made a huge mess. I stuck my whole umbrella together. Okay, I'm going to stack that up and I'm going to squeeze the extra off because I don't want it here. Got a paper towel. If you get extra glue where you don't want it, just, just wipe it off. It's okay. And we'll just make sure yeah, see, if you open it up very gently, you see how it looks? Isn't that cool? Now we're going to keep gluing. I'm going to go back, find the, find the thickest fold side. We've got the two little legs, remember? So we're going to line down here, triangle towards the curved side, and squish that one right on top. We're going to make a big stack of these. I'm going to keep going. Here's my triangle. The two little legs are go pointing the same direction on all of them. And I'm trying to line them up very straight. There's the big fold and the two legs. The bottom, the fat part of the triangle there, Remember, it goes towards the, the curved edge of your paper. I'm kind of getting glue all over the place here. It's all right, we'll clean it up. 
triangle, go toward the curved edge. Okay, the, big, the big fold, the two little legs going off to the side. I think I've got two more pieces, which I think I accidentally stuck together. There we go, a little more glue stick, triangle. And line that up. Last triangle. And line that up and stick that on there. See that? Wipe a little bit of extra off the bottom. You can see where I've got extra purple there. Okay, I'm going to squish that together. Now this top part should be all glued together up here. And we're going to keep it that way. Take some time and let that dry. After you've let it dry, we're going to come back and we're going to put the pipe cleaner on to make our umbrella. I'm going to put a pretty heavy amount of glue on that thick side, kind of like the binding of a book, the side that's all glued together. See that? And I'm going to make a triangle one more time along that side and out towards this side. The curved side is where the bottom of the triangle is. And I think I'm done with my glue to put the lid on that. Now with my pipe cleaner, I'm going to lay it across the middle of this and I'm going to leave probably an inch out because I'm going to hang it up there. Kind of hold it there for a minute to let that dry. Now what's going to happen, you may need help with this. I'm going to open up. Oh my goodness. I'll put the pipe cleaner back there in a minute. I'm going to open this up so it lays flat on my hand. I've got my fingers stuck inside one of these here. Okay, you see? So put my pipe cleaner back in here. And I'm going to bring this all the way around, keep the pipe cleaner in the middle, and stick it together. And as you're holding it, see how I'm holding it right here on the inside? As you're holding it tight in there, you can move your pipe cleaner towards the middle so it's actually in the middle of your umbrella. And just hold your fingers there for a few a little bit until your glue dries. <laughs> I think you can start to see where the, the umbrella shape is taking place. There we go. Again, if you let that dry, the next part is going to be much easier. I'm going to keep going. My advice is let it dry. Now on the top part, I'm going to take this, I think it's a little long, so I'm going to cut off just a little bit, so there's about an inch there. I'm just going to cut that off with the scissors. And now I'm going to curl this down. This is going to be the top of the umbrella, and I'm using it to make a loop so that I can hang it up. So there's a loop there. On the bottom, this is going to be where you would hold onto the umbrella, that's the handle. I'm going to put a bend in it, and where it's done bending, I'm going to cut it off a little long with my scissors, and I'm going to bend the handle down so that the sharp part is in. I'm going to get exact with that. There. You've got your handle on your umbrella. Now, if you'd like to hang it up, you can put a piece of thread through here. I have some string. I just clipped it through the end. If you just let your umbrella sit, it's going to fall upside down because it's heavier on that side, isn't it? So there. Okay, so you've got your string in. Now we need to organize this a little bit. After everything is dry, you can look at the top of this. See this here? Each one of these little sections you can open up. So just go to each one, 
and just pull them open a little bit. And you're going to go the whole way around. Now, part of the paper is not glued in here. This part, this middle part of your circle, it's not going to need to be glued in because it's not going to be open. Another way you can separate those sections is to put your finger right in the bottom. And I'm flattening out that fold. So just keep working around. I'm holding it upside down by the top. If anything's stuck together, you can make sure the ends of those little legs that are sticking out, you can squish those down. Your umbrella is actually done. We're just fiddling with it to make it so that the ribs are even as you come around here. See that? Going around each one of them. Just tick my finger in. If you've got 10 circles, you'll have 20. My goodness, my string is all hooked in there, isn't it? You'll have 20 little petal shapes in here. You could probably make some neat flowers like this too. But I thought, especially with rainy season sometimes, it's fun to make little umbrellas. There you go. And see the top? It's a little... We've made it a little more even around there. And your whole umbrella, there it is. There's your umbrella. Isn't that fun? I'm really pleased with how they turned out. You can do any different kinds. This one is one solid color. Remember this one was white on one side of the paper and colored on the other. And I just made some uh, pattern in here. Some are blue and some are green. And then this one is made out of magazine pages. And then this one's just a smaller one. It's a small size. So I'm looking forward to seeing pictures of the umbrellas that you've made. And I hope you stay dry 